Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and you might be thinking, I just got 99 DG yesterday. Why am I already back to DG? Um, well, with that being said, I actually did do one large floor earlier today. Uh, I was just on World 72, and there's uh, someone I knew there, and they're like, hey, do you want to join in a large? And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. So I did one large floor earlier today, even though it was probably somewhat of an XP waste. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just um, doing my rush floors because... Well, I'm going to want to DG again sometime. I figure if I ever get one of those DG daily challenges, what I'll do is I'll just go to World 77 and do a large and then turn in the challenge. So I'll, uh, since you get so much XP for the challenge, it's like doing two larges in one. So I think that's pretty worth it because I do want to get to 120 DG someday. So um, that's my plans with that. But the reason why I'm rushing my floors really na right now is I'm doing some fishing at the moment. Uh, I like to do C2 fishing, and unfortunately I can't bind Cosmic Runes because I have Sagittarian Arrows bound, so that really makes uh, the C2 fishing a bit slower than it needs to be, but that's okay. Um, I'm only about 200k off of fishing level, and that's like a couple hours of fishing. Well, more because I'm actually f completing these dungeons, because these are my rush floors, but um, normally that would only be about two hours of fishing. Uh, I want to get that really fast just because it's the closest um, skill that I am to level up right now. So I think that would just be cool to get a few levels today. I don't know if I'm going to do any more fishing after I get 94. It just really depends on how I feel about fishing. If I am motivated and want to keep going, I might just go till 95, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show, give you guys a quick morning video just kind of talking about what I'm doing. And uh, I must say Mage is actually really good in DG. Um, I'm using the uh, Celestial Catalytic Staff, which is the best staff. Uh, in DG because it gives um, all the normal runes, so air, earth, fire, and water. Uh, it gives all of those through the staff, so you can cast any of the elemental spells as many times as you want. And then also, um, it's a level 99 tier 11 staff, so it has pretty good stats, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's enough about that. I prefer using mage because it just you can shoot things from across the room and you don't have to run up to them and stuff. I also um, I also bound a blood necklace as you can see here because uh, for one it heals you a bit with melee but before EOC came out the blood necklace was like the only point of it was um, it, it healed you. I don't think it gave great stats before EOC but now it gives a 5% bonus to all the criticals um, and I know not everyone is all into that critical stuff doesn't know exactly how it works, but that's higher critical bonus than a Fury. Um, so just think of it as you're wearing a Fury in Dungeoneering. Uh, it doesn't have any prayer bonus, but um, just yeah, just think of it as like you're wearing a Fury in Dungeoneering. So that is why I bound it. Um, so I have all my binds full now. I have nothing else to bind. Um, the only things that I need to upgrade are my melee weapon. I'm still at a Promethean weapon. And then my mage top and my range top. Um, I have the I don't have the highest tier major range tops. I really want to get the um, Celestial and Sagittarian armors because they, well, not only do they look cool, but they also give really good stats. And I do use mage in range and dungeoneering. Um, I use mage on most floors, and then I use range for most bosses because range is by far the most accurate. Um, not really sure why that is, but try fighting any boss with mage or with range, and then try fighting it with melee. Um, range is far more accurate at least to my uh, my understanding so um, also it's really nice for bosses like this like the plane freezer something or other uh, you don't have to run after him with melee I remember having to do this boss uh, back when I was meleeing him and you'd have to run all the over the room and it was really annoying but luckily runescape has changed it's no longer melee escape I would say range is probably the best style in dungeoneering uh, in my opinion I don't know if everyone else feels that way because it seems like most people do use melee, but um, I would just say range is the best from my experiences. I would use range more often, but you just you don't really get that many arrows, um, especially because I only have uh, 125 bound right now because I've only had one Sagittarian arrow drop. Uh, I don't have enough arrows to really complete an entire large dungeon without like running out. So, oh well, uh, I'm gonna continue fishing. Um, I've gotten 15k XP and uh, I'm not sure how long, but it's been really bad. I have not been getting very good fishing spots, and just as I said that, here's a decent fishing spot. So hopefully I get a bit luckier with the fishing spots, and I will keep doing this at least until 94 fishing. Might stop there, might continue, not really sure. 
But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update video, and uh, I'll think of another video to make later in the day. And uh, yeah, check up on you then. That's all for now, and farewell.